Since I got so much fucking support on the last video, I've decided to publish a video that would not get any support. I'm gonna be covering an ideology that is fictional. This means it has never existed and I hope to God it never will. So this guy is Ingsoc, or English Socialism. It is a totalitarian ideology based on George Orwell's novel 1984. It is an oath unity area outside of the political compass and the apex of totalitarianism. The state has complete control over the individual, over the future, over everything. Ing Sok was an example in the novel showing the consequence of unhinged government surveillance, endless war and propaganda, and as a criticization of totalitarianism and also the socialist movements. Ing Sok uses various means to get the people of the country Oceania under his control. Oceania being the country in the novel. One mean is Newspeak. This is the official new language of the Oceanian state. It's a very simplified version of the English language, which within Newspeak is referred to as Old Speak. The purpose of Newspeak is the elimination of all nuance from the English language to make anyone who speaks in this new version of English only think as the part that dictates. It is a very simplified language and a criticism of the tendency within the English language to become more and more simplified. Or we'll talk about this in another essay known as Politics and the English Language. This is an extremism of the uh, names of ministries by the USSR and the Nazi Germany. Another mean to get the people under control is doublethink. This is the state of believing two completely contradictory terms at the same time without completely certainty about both. An example is we have always been at war with Eurasia, East Asia was always our allies, we have always been to war with East Asia, Eurasia was always our ally. I can't speak today, what is going on man? This is based on the various ideological contradictions that totalitarian states would go to, for example Nazi Germany, the enemy was portrayed as both inferior yet also controlling the entire world. Yes. If you haven't read the novel, you should. It has been severely outdated, but it is still enjoyable to read. The country of Oceania is a, a very terrifying place, yet completely real in that it could happen in the world, and I hope it doesn't.